Hello there again, this is Jaybird Drone and I'm out with the Xeno 2 and we're going to try the uh, precision landing on this quad now to give you a little bit of a comparison. Um, I haven't had much luck with the precision landing on this but I wanted to show you guys uh, and compare that with the Mavic Air 2. So we got our phone recorder going and if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit subscribe hit all notifications to be informed on the latest and greatest new drones and uh, welcome to the channel so let's go ahead and take her on up refresh to the return point please find the return position okay I'm just going to take her on up. And we're going to do around 300 like we did with the Mavic Air 2. Drop the gimbal down a little bit. Fly her out just a little. There we go, that's good. Three hundred. Pull stick forward. We stopped at about that tree there in the center. Drop the gimbal down just a little. Bring that gimbal down just a little bit. Alright, should be good. Bring it on up. Let's hit the um, RTH. Return to home.
Okay, just hold the FN button. That'll stop that annoying beeping noise. So she's coming back to us. See her on the map there. We'll see how close she gets. We're not doing recording because this drone uses the camera for the um, landing apron. Um, so. There we go. She's starting to lower down right above us. But, um, I haven't had much luck with this, so let's see how close she gets. I'm going to drop the camera down. It'll do this automatically as well. So let's see if it does. There it goes. Once it gets to a certain level, it will start searching. There it goes. It's trying to search it now. Let's see if we get it. And we are... Oh, not too bad. Cancel return. About a foot off, folks. That wasn't too bad. Doing a little bit of a toilet bowl on us. Alright. Let's see. We got it on sport mode. Let's change it back to normal mode. And let's try something else. Kind of a sunny day today, folks. I'll take it. We've had a lot of rain here in Ohio. So any type of uh, sun we get is always a plus. It's in the low 80s. Feels good. So, just flying her straight out the other way now. On normal mode, say call... Maybe they call this um, just normal mode on this drone. I think the sport mode's called expert mode. All right, so we're out pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit the RTH. Return to home. See what she does. Going up to its altitude that I have it set at, which I believe is over 300. I'm going to bring that camera down. See how close she gets. Okay, so there we are in the center of the screen, as you can see. She's coming down. Oh, we lost our image there. Here it came back. We're gonna hit that pad, folks. I don't think so. Looks like we're off about a foot again. All right. 
Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles, folks. So, I mean, you'll get within a foot or two of the landing pad on the Xeno 2, but it's not as precise as the Mavic Air 2, as we can see on the comparisons. So I got a little bit of battery. I'm gonna burn it up. Let's put on expert mode, which is sport mode. Just fly around this field for a second, and then we'll um, maybe try to return to home one last time. I will say though, this drone is still the fastest I've seen to date. Without precision landing, my advice to you is watch where you're going because it will not. It does not care if it's in the way or not. You're also not paying as much as you are with the DJI's. Keep that in mind. Damn. We're just tearing it up, folks. Doing some laps. I will say, for the size and weight of this drone, it does one hell of a job on sport mode. I mean, this is one wild drone, folks. I kind of like it still. Once you get past all the uh, firmware updates and issues with that, it's not a bad flyer. I'm not biased towards any drone. I like all my drones. And I do give honest feedback, so I wouldn't steer any of you wrong. If you're thinking about a Xeno 2, that's in your price range. Go for it. So I won't tell you it's a bad drone because it's not for me. This is just me playing around with it a little bit on sport mode. I'm going to just do a dart straight ahead and see what that sport mode is all about. Definitely hauling ass, almost 40 miles per hour. Definitely a beast. Definitely a beast, folks. 
and try this precision landing one more time because we still got a little bit of battery and then we'll uh, see how she does good got it up pretty high let's turn it around all right let's hit our button return to your home okay, it's going up to the set altitude Move my bag out of the way this time. That way it doesn't try to detect both. Just to let you guys know that it's not anywhere by there. Okay, so she's now coming down. I'm bringing the camera down too just to show you exactly where we're at on the, um, the down. Cancel. All right, it's about a foot off again, folks. But I want to thank you all for watching uh, Jaybird Drone. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button and hit all notifications to be informed on the latest and greatest new drones. And I appreciate all of you. You're like family on this channel. So if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment in the comment box and leave a thumbs up for me on the way out. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll chat with you soon.